said you are going to get some good food for me. Eh? Why did you take you this long to come back? Where'd you go? What was I supposed to be doing? No food in the house. Eh? I'm still talking about how dare you come. Disrespect. I'm not even. I asked you a question, but I'm still talking. Was a rhetorical question? I'm not done talking. Don't disrespect me. Are you okay? Ah, ah, eh? Are you Better not make me wait for this food though. I've been waiting since morning. I do not have patience right now, especially when I'm hungry. I'm hungry! Bring the food now, is this what I'll eat? Eh? See, now I do not test my patience. You know I was hungry when you left in the morning. Kids that cook for me, what kind of rubbish is this now?
Not gift? Sir? Please quickly get another set of drip. Okay,
I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. You don't belong here. You belong in my home. You belong in my heart. And I'm so sorry that I put you in this position. Please wake up. I pray you can hear me. God, please bring her back to me. Please bring her back to me. God, please bring her back to me. I'll never do this again if you come back to me, baby. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I love you with all of me. I really do. Hello, hello, uh, brother. Were you able to reach her? No, I don't know. I don't even know if her mother-in-law is okay. Initially, she called to cancel her foundation appointment this afternoon, saying she got an emergency from her doctor that has to do with her mother-in-law. She said she was going to call me back uh, to give me the update and, 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 and tell me what is happening. And I don't know, I'm just confused. I, I, I can't reach anybody. I can't reach her. She's not picking her calls. I, I don't know who to call. Brother, I, I have a bad feeling about this. Seriously, I do. I have a bad feeling. No, I don't. I don't. As you said, I will, uh, I'll talk to you later. Tell me what exactly is wrong with you? I don't understand. You don't understand? No. That is the result of the x-ray carried out on your wife. Max, you know, even if I look at this, I'm going to understand what it's saying. So what's in here? The x-ray carried out on your wife is showing injuries all over her body, including her back. Her ribs are bruised. The scan carried out on her head is showing a fracture. Now tell me. Are you seriously telling me that all this resulted from just a little show like you claimed? What do you think the administrators of this hospital are going to say when they see this result? Max, you're not just my family doctor. You're my best friend. Okay, we go way back ever since we were kids. Okay, I need you to look out for me, please. Please, you can't let anybody else see this. This is between you and I. Let's keep it a secret. I'm begging you. Please. How can you treat Chidera like this? Bro, if it wasn't for that woman, your mother would have died years back. How could 
you do this? <sighs> Bro, I don't know. It was just, I was talking to her one minute, and then I started putting my hands on her, you know? It's not, I didn't plan it. I didn't want to. I love her so much. She means the world to me. She means the absolute world to me. But it's just, I'm going to start going to anger management classes. Okay, I'll, I'll take care of this. Because I love her. I can't. I can't put her in this situation, and I, I'm so sorry. I will never do it again. It will never happen again, ever. Bro, just listen to yourself. Chidera has been more than just a wife to you, and you know it. The last time you beat her, she lost her pregnancy, and you knelt down in this office, begging me to beg her to forgive you, and I stupidly agreed. Even the therapist I recommended to you, you went there just. Tell me, what else do you want from me? What else? Honestly, Chidera does not deserve any of this. I must be frank with you. I swear you have really, really tried this. Ah, come on, you have shown me that you are more than a brother and a friend. Eh? <laughs> you know, I would have missed that exam. And that lecturer is not even sorted. And you know what that would have done to my GP? He would have Crumpled it extend. Bro. Man, I promise you, I swear for this life, eh? I'm forever indebted to you. Uh, I got your back, bro. Anytime. I appreciate anytime. it. Anytime. You're my brother for life. You're not my bro now. Oh. Uh, I couldn't just sit back and watch you fill your course because of something you couldn't attend because of your medical situation. Do you get me? Of course I would have helped. And I did. Do you get me? Thank God it wasn't like a core medical exam because I don't know in our terminology. I fulfill that. <laughs> no, even at that, sir. I'll soon go. I'll spy my way through giraffe. I'll giraffe my way through your pastor. Of course, of course now. Mama, buy you drink, man. Hey. One good deed, they say deserves another. Okay? So please, I need you to look out for me. Please. Let's keep this between us. Please. Max Adebayo, you're my best friend. Promise to be there for each other. I need you to be there for me right now. Please. wonderful wife that God gave to you. Oh. If anything happens to Chidera, I will personally nail you to the cross. I swear with my life. Mom is okay. Nothing will happen to Chidera. I will try my best for her. But in the meantime, we should all keep what we know to ourselves and pray she regains consciousness. You should be the one to do the prayer, sir. Tell him to pray. We all have to pray. Chidera will be fine. This I have to uh, leave now so I can attend to other patients.
Why are you not picking up your calls? It's Mandy and it's her phone. You know, I don't know what to tell her yet, so I, I can't pick up. You do realize you're going to have to talk to them at some point, right? I mean, you can't keep avoiding them like this. They need to know what has happened to their sister. And trust me, it's better they know now that things are still under control. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll let them know, okay? But how's she doing? Is she getting better? No improvement. Still the same. But I'll have to increase the dosage of her fluids. Don't worry, she's going to be fine. She will. You know this for a fact. It's fine, man. Don't worry, she'll be fine. You know that for a fact. She'll be fine. Yes, man. Calm down. She'll be fine. I wonder why Dr. Mas would be covering this kind of evil all in the name of friendship. That man is wicked and need to be prosecuted. This is the third time they're bringing that woman in this hospital, just in two months. This is so bad. But why would Dr. Mas instruct us not to allow anyone into our ward? Of course, he's protecting his friend. But I wonder why a woman will be going through such domestic violence and still remain in that marriage. Love. She loves her husband. Love my fruits. It's only stupidity and fear of what people will say that will make a woman do that. The last beating caused her miscarriage. And now she's in coma. Maybe, who knows? The last one, she will be in her grave. Only God knows if that woman will survive this time. Most gifts. Please, eh? That is their business. Let me focus on my own. As soon as I come here for. I beg you, my sister. To do my business. I'm not even seeing this. Brother, I heard from Femi. That Chidera has a headache and she's in the hospital. Yes. Okay, you're coming back. Okay. Okay. So I brought her here. What kind of headache? 
Is that what the doctor says is wrong with her? No, he's he's checking on her now. He's about to find out what's going on. Okay, I, I need to make some payments now. Okay, but just be calm. We'll find out what's going on. Everything is okay. Okay. Good afternoon, nurse. Good afternoon, sir. We're here to see Mrs. Sudera Williams. We are her siblings. Okay, you'll have to sit down. The doctor is doing a routine check at the moment. Yes. We need to see him first. Downstairs, they said they want to see Mrs. Chidera Williams, the woman in ICU. They're her siblings. I don't know how else you want me to tell you that no visitor is allowed to see that patient. I repeat, no visitor is allowed to see her without my authorization. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You still come back here. Ask me. Ignore the noise, it's not our problem. here than to allow that man descend on me. This is seriously getting out of hand. Dr. Mas and Mr. Femi Williams left us at the war front. My dear, I cannot die for what I know nothing about. As for me, I will be here until they allow them to see their sister. Okay. Our phones are in there. What if Doc calls? Why don't you just go pick it up? Seriously, that's your business. I don't want to be the scapegoat. That man almost tore me apart. 
In fact, I don't want to be seen around that reception again until Dr. Mars permits them to see their sister. In fact, I'm going to hide at the canteen. Can they all not be picking their cause at the same time? Where's my oh. sister? Uh, gentlemen, please calm down. Your sister is on the point. What nonsense treatment is that? Where is my sister? I don't understand what games you're playing with for me. But trust me, I'll strangle you here and nothing will happen. No, it hasn't got into that. Oh, you know what? I'll take you to your sister immediately. Headache would make someone be on life support. Headache? Femi said she had headache. That was why he brought her here. Why is my sister on life support? Have you conducted any tests on her? Uh, yes, uh, but... Um, Where is the result? I'm sorry, the result is not out yet. Then what are you treating? Why is my sister on life support? Calm down. All we're trying to do is to save your sister's life. Don't tell me to calm down when my sister's life is at stake. How dare you treat her blindly? Honestly, I'm not confident what is happening here. I think we should just take my sister away from this hospital. By the way, where is Femi? He stepped out to get some injections. What stupid injections? When you don't even know what you're treating? Doctor, pray nothing happens to my sister. Just pray. Pray nothing happens to my sister. Just pray. Else, I will shut down this hospital. I will. Um, gentlemen and lady, I'm sorry, but I would have to ask you to leave. Uh, the patient needs some time alone. What is wrong with my sister? Rest from what? What is wrong? What is wrong with her? What are you treating? Tell us! Look at my sister. Look at what they've done to my sister. Look at my sister. We should leave. Look at my sister. You're going to leave. Leave Leave nowhere. Keep walking. What is wrong with my sister? Just look at you. Okay, I didn't hit her this time. Please, I, I just she complained about headache and I brought her here. Please, let's just calm down. Please, please, calm down. Calm down. Please. please. Okay, I, I um, I need to see the doctor. Uh, 
find out what's going on, but I'll be back here very soon. Please just calm down, okay? I'll be back in a second, please. Brother-in-law almost pounced on me, demanding to see his sister. So I had no choice but to take them to their sister. Did you tell them what happened? Calm down. Look, the situation is still under control. But they are asking too many questions. I think you should go and see them. That will calm the tension. Because they are threatening to move out to another hospital. And you know what that means if we ever let them get away with it. And one more thing for me. Your wife is not responding to treatment. Come on. Be a man. You have to face your fears. Go and see them. But you have to go through the back door. So you can come in from the reception because I told them you went to buy injections for her. Instead of taking me to my house. Okay, well, the doctor um, insisted that we monitor you and make sure you're okay before we take you back to the house, you know, before we rush it and regress it. Let's just make sure everything is okay. I'm sure everything is okay, just precautionary steps. I still stand my ground. Tell Chidera's people what happened to their daughter. <sighs> if you don't do that, I, I will tell them myself. Oh. I'm your son, why would you do that? That's like, I would never do that to you. Oluwa Femi, you are my son. I know. Yes, why would you do that to me? But you would have listened to me when, when I warned you against beating that girl. I told you that domestic violence is very bad. But you refuse to listen to me. Have you seen where it has landed you? Is that why? Oh, Femi, I can never cover evil, no matter who committed it, over my dead body. Tell children ask people what happened to their daughter. Else, I will do that myself. Why now? Mom, you why? What did I do to you? Femi? Yes, ma'am. You're happy? Oluwa Femi, you're happy? You are happy that you slept in this mansion while your lovely wife is there in the hospital? Ma, she's there with her siblings, you know, and I don't, I don't want to go there. They might just kill me. And it's better I let them be there with her. Oluwa Femi? Yes, ma'am. I expect you to tell them what happened to their sister. I can't tell them now, now. It will cause trouble. Oluwa Femi? Oluwa Femi, you have to tell them now. Tell them, or I will do that myself. And you know if I do that myself, it will cause more trouble. How can you be this wicked and heartless? Oluwa Femi, her girl that loved me like her own mother. She did not give me life. That day they rushed me to the hospital. They called your number severally. But it was switched off. But just one call they called her. She picked up and rushed to the hospital. Donated blood that gave me life. Oh, 
Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi. You are wicked. You are wicked. She did right, that is my life. A girl that gave me life, donated blood for me to live, only for her to come home, to inform you what happened to your mother, and bring food for me to eat. You beat her to come. Oluwa Femi, pray to your God. Pray to your God that nothing happened to my, to, to my daughter-in-law. If anything happens to my daughter-in-law, Oluwa Femi, I will not forgive you and I will expose you. Daphne, because I know you heard me. Why are you acting as if you did not hear what I said? You heard me. Go and tell them what happened to their sister and do that today. Okay, it's okay, Ma. I'll tell them. I promise you. I'll tell them myself. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But do you know what? I would like to be there when you're telling them. Ah. Yes. So I'm coming with you to the hospital. Now? Yes. Now. Okay, okay. I mean, once you change, you know, get, once you get ready, no, it's, it's not an issue. No problem. Let me go and change. Let me change. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Let me use your phone. I want to call Dr. Max. That is not a problem. Okay. Let my phone call. Let me go and change. Thank you, ma'am. That works for you, ma'am. <laughs> Duncan! Duncan! Okay. Sam, nobody's coming into this house. Do you understand? Nobody is coming into this house and nobody is leaving this house. Eh? Good. I'll be back. Open the gate. Okay, how madam did? The only is not to let anybody go or come. Eh? Not to know how Madame did. Madame did. Yes, Oga. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Should you be able to reach any of you? No. Mommy's known by switched off. And yeah. that of Femi. Eh? Then she said she's not picking her course. Eh? I hope everything is okay, oh. Joan. By the way, do you have um, Duncan's number? I don't have his number. Oh. No. But, but this is strange. How come three of them, their numbers are off at the same time? No. It, it is, this, is, this, is, this is very, very strange. Especially mommy. Mom, that her phone is always on. Mommy does always at her to take her calls regardless of the time. None of them is reachable, their phones are off. Chidera is not taking her calls. I just pray everything is okay. Go for beat, Joanne. Go for beat. Eh? What will happen to them? Eh? What will happen to them? Hey, let's just keep trying and see the number will go. Eh? Let's see if we can reach any of them. You dare not tell me to come down. My sister has been lying here for days without any positive result. I want to try another hospital. Look, I totally understand your anger. But believe me, we are trying our best. She's on life support. And we need to manage her situation until she gets out of coma. Then we can commence proper medication. Believe me, even if you take her to the world best hospital, it will be the same thing. The way we are managing her here will be the same way they are going to manage her over there. So what's the point? I'm running out of patience. I feel so bad that my sister is lying in this state. Obviously, your effort is not good enough. Can you imagine? Even the tests you carried out on her, till now, the results are not yet out. 
and you still want me to believe that you people know what you're doing here. Dr. Marx, it is my sister's life we're talking about here. I don't want to gamble with it. Okay, 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 it's fine. I will oblige your request. But first, you have to allow us to manage her till she's out of coma. Then you can take her to the new year. These are the results of all the tests carried out in her. And full treatment will commence once she's out of the coma. I don't have a problem about that. At least now you know what to treat. I beg to take my leave now. That man is surely had not to cry.
me up like this. So you just mocked me up like this and stylishly took my phone away from me. Hey! Oh. Oh. Oh, you did this because you don't want me to expose you here. Eh? Look at me to lie. Unless you kill me. But if I am alive, oh, oh, you have me. As long as I'm alive, hmm? I will surely expose you. Oh, you have me, you are wicked. At least. I regret ever giving birth to you. I regret ever giving birth to you, you have me. Oh. life support and cover her. You have to guide this room to make sure nobody comes in. And also don't reveal her death to anyone yet. I hope I've made myself clear. Yes, That woman on life support, she's oh. dead. Oh my goodness! Ha! Oh. So she finally died. I just, I just knew she wouldn't make it. I feel so bad for the family. I feel like telling the siblings what really happened to their sister. Because Dr. Max and her husband are hiding it from them. In as much as I feel pity for them also, I just think we should stay off this case. Because it's none of our business. And if the family finds out that the husband was the one that beat her into this condition, it will cause so much problem. And the hospital will be in trouble for covering such evil. Okay, I know. But I still think that Mr. Femi Williams needs to face the law and also be exposed on all social networks so that all that abusive husbands will learn. This is totally unacceptable. See, we must stop domestic violence. It's okay. It's okay. This is painful. Just get hold of yourself. It's okay. We must stop domestic violence. Do not let your emotions drive you into doing what will cause us so much problem. Just put yourself together. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. It's okay. Now. 
Vibes. What's going on? How is she? Huh? I am truly sorry. What? We lost her. Honestly, we did our best. Say something. I am truly sorry. What? Femi! Femi! Where's my sister? Don't go. Where's my sister? What have you done to my sister? What have you done to my sister? Where is my sister? Don't go. Where is my sister? Don't go. Where is my sister?
She's alive! She's alive! She's alive! She's alive! Now listen. Tell no one about this. I'll give you 50,000 naira. What if the husband comes looking for her? Just tell them that I moved the cops to another mortuary. Please, keep an eye on her. Let me get my car. This is unimaginable! Wow! Doctor, that man is very stubborn. He insisted on taking his sister to another mortuary. That is his choice, so I allowed him to. I think it's even better. But I don't have to worry your head over that. It's okay, you may go now. Thank you, sir. is not connecting and I want to go to the market. Me, I don't know where I'll get drugs for you. I know. Uh, check any of the, 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 the flower vases. Eh? Yeah. 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 See, Papa, open the car for me. Please. Flower vases. I want to go to the market. What are they here now? I don't see them all. Check, check, check. Okay. I don't see them. So wrong. 
Marriage is no longer safe for you. I think you should leave while you still have your life. No. You have to stop saying this. I thought we've talked about this before. I would not leave my marriage for anything. Marriage is for better, for worse. <laughs> Man, these some women are even going through worse. The marriage is perfect. It comes with challenges. And I'm just facing mine. Hoping that God will do something. Can you hear yourself talk? Femi is a beast. Can't you see? I would not have you describe my husband in such manner. He's not that kind of person. You know it. It's just his temper. We're trying to work on it. It's at what risk? You keep making excuses for him. Chidera. Listen, Chidera. Chidera will you. I don't want to lose you. Please, just leave him and come back home. A better man will come. You are pretty, smart, intelligent. A better man will come. Mandy, there is no better man for me than Femi. He's my life. I love this man and you know it. I can't leave him. I can't. Mandy, please. I don't want you to say a word too bright. You know how he gets whenever he hears of this. Please. deserve your forgiveness right now but I just want to apologize for hitting you and I can't say it won't happen again because I've made that promise so many times that I didn't keep it but I feel horrible and I love you baby I love you with all of me I'm so sorry a man who truly loves his wife would not hit her to the point of her being in pain and he just, he just watches. A man who truly loves his wife would not hit her so hard. And watch her go through so much pain. You know, sometimes I ask myself if you truly love me. Baby, don't say that, baby. You know I love you. Okay, I do. You mean the world to me. I don't ever question my love for you, baby. Okay.
How is she? She's responding to treatment. I have taken her blood samples for series of tests. I still insist you conduct an X-ray on her. That won't be a problem. We will take it one after the other. The good thing is that she's really responding to treatment. You have to keep a close watch on her and call me if needed. But I'll be back shortly. Dave. Yes, boss. You heard from the doctor. Keep a close watch on her. Let no one enter this room, no matter what. Yes, boss. Let me get something, I'll come back. <laughs> Mommy, so Femi had the guts to take your phone, lock you up in the house, knowing your health condition. Thank God for Duncan the Gate Man. He's the one that saved me. Who knows the uh, famous uh, next line of action? <laughs> but, Mommy, why is Femi so different? Why is he such a beast? That was how he usually beat us up at our teen age. What thing I know, we say, any man who cannot respect his mother can never respect his wife. And in their rights. Any man who beats his sisters eh, will end up beating his wife. Exactly. Yes, ma'am. Although her family should pray to his God, he should pray that nothing happens to my daughter in law. If not, <laughs> he will have me to contend with. Matu Ashiria. Meanwhile, how is Sidera doing? Ah, how mommy? I have to tell you the truth though. Her condition is critical. Oh. Hey, hey mommy. Mommy. We need to pray. Oh. We need to pray hard that she comes out of that though. Chidera is in coma when I left the hospital. Oh. Hey. Mommy. Hey. <laughs> mommy. That's what happened to Chidera. Oh. Mommy. Oh. <laughs> You see, Femi, Femi is a very wicked person. That Femi is very wicked. Hey? Can you imagine? You see, next time he steps his foot into this compound, I'll arrange guys to beat him up. Yes, Trust me, I'll do it. Mimi, you have my support on this. Mimi, uh, 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 I am very hungry. Uh, but first of all, you go and uh, prepare hot water for me to bait. Make food for me to eat, please. Okay, okay. Okay.
He will never go unpunished. His generation will be punished forever. Ah, ah, to not be well with you, Femi. Femi. Ah. Mandy, Mandy. You've cried enough. You've cried enough. Put yourself together. Let's join hands together and avenge Shadera's death. Go to your room, take your bath so I can also go and freshen up. Yes. Please, Mandy. You have cried enough. I think at this point I have to take you to your room. You need to rest. Thank you, Jenny, for staying with her. It's okay. I mean, Chidera would have done the same for me. Oh, Chidera, Chidera. It's okay. Oh, my Please. sister. Oh, just... You have cried enough. It's okay. <laughs> Son, I gave birth to. Keep me hostage, knowing my health condition. Oluwa Femi will surely pay for his action. Let him pray. He better pray that nothing happens to my daughter in law. If not, he will have me to contend with. <laughs> Femi is such a beast. One would doubt is our sibling. Mommy, Chidera is calling. Pick it. He's the one calling. Um, hello, bro. Femi. Baoni. I'm fine. Ah, mommy. Bro, Femi, how do you mean? Is mommy supposed to come home today? Yay! Yay! Brafemi! Brafemi! Brafemi, what are you saying? Brafemi, you better go and look for her. You better go and look for her because if anything should happen to mommy, Brafemi, if anything should happen to mommy, I reserve my comments for now. <laughs> Oluwa Femi. Ah, Mommy, imagine your son. Who will believe that Oluwa Femi is my husband? But let him pray that nothing happens to my daughter in law. If anything happens to Chidera, <laughs> Oluwa Femi will smell fire. I'm gradually losing my sanity. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I don't even know the universe. Everything is just against me. You have to calm down, Femi. How can I calm down? Take it easy on yourself. I can't take You know, my mom is missing. And my wife is dead. How can I calm down? I can't. The world is not taking it easy on me. Come on, we can't speak to you like this. Uh, Every problem has a solution. You don't understand. You don't, you don't get it, okay? My sister has said they're going to deal with me. I'm already fighting with my in-laws now. I'm fighting with my own family. Come on. I think you should take a vacation. I mean, stay away till all this tension comes down. I already messed up big time. I can't mess up a second time. 
beating my wife to death and calling it a mess up is an understatement. I can't compound that situation by running away again. I have to stay. I have to give her a befitting burial. Well, first I think we should make a formal report at the police station about your mother's disappearance. Or maybe she could be at Bryce place, you know? I mean, she's siding with them now, so maybe she's there. Well, it's very possible. But anyway, we just have to look for her before things get out of hand. It's okay, everything is going to be fine. I don't know. I don't know. Just put yourself together. Okay. Stupid murderer. You killed my sister. Give me one month from now. You'll go back to his place. Marry another woman from this tribe. Yeah, it's your way. Don't mind that. But this one. Yeah. We want Chidera. But she wouldn't listen. She says she loves him. She said. We are one Nigeria, irrespective of our tribe. We obliged her. Now see where one Nigeria has left us. Just look at that. I bet you, Femi, dearly pay for this. <clears throat> you see that silly boy? He was so lucky that I did not come to hospital with you. If not, I would have gone physical with him. I would have loved to see that power, to feel that power he's using to intimidate ladies. Anytime you need my support, just holler. That boy needs to be dealt with. I know he's on his way to our house. Eh? Mm -hmm. eh, eh. His car is parked there. I know Brother Femi sent him to come and check if Yami is at home. Eh? Try to wage him here. Don't allow him to come inside. Let me go inside and be with Yami. Did you hear me? Wage him here. Don't allow him to come inside. I'm no longer a mommy, I'm not a full grown woman. Oh, I can see that. I'm sure suitors are already trooping in. Mm, you're right if you say so. But you know, I'm taking my time. There's no hurry in life. You can say that again, my dear. Um, how is Mimi? Um, is she in? Mimi, Mimi is fine, but she's not around at the moment. Oh. <laughs> uh, that reminds me. What's going on with Bra Femi? How do you mean? Raifemi called me and was asking if mommy is home. Mommy is supposed to be in his house. I'm confused. What's really going on? Um, I wouldn't know because uh, I haven't actually seen Femi. But don't worry. I will go over to his place and find out exactly what is going on. Okay. Please. Let me tell Bra Femi that I, Oluwa Tosun, Truan Williams said, if anything should happen to mommy, <laughs> if anything should happen to mommy, he will regret ever being my elder brother. He will blame himself. He will blame himself. Tell him I give him between now to weekend to bring mommy back home. Else, I will get him arrested. <laughs> Come on. It hasn't gotten to that. It has, oh. No, 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 no. I'm sure it's not that bad. And I'm absolutely sure nothing will happen to mommy. She's I pray fine. So. I pray. Okay? I actually came over to see my parents and decided to stop by and check up on you guys. Mm -hmm. I said that's for But you. I shall relate your message to Femi. Please do. Very important. Yeah. Um, do take care of yourself. I have oh, to run now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
So you came around there. Do you still have a patient here as well? Not really. I actually came to see my parents and decided to stop over at Femi's mother's house to see her. And also to know how they are getting over Chidera's death. Chidera's death? Was she sick? My dear, that was how we saw it. Uh, so tell me, uh, have you seen Femi's mom around lately? Because I went to the house and I didn't see her. No, no, no. She hasn't been around. She has been at Femi's place after she was ill. Ah, oh, poor woman. She did that must have affected her so much. She really loved her daughter-in-law. Anyways, may her soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen. It's all right. Take care of yourself. I will see you some other time. All right. It's okay. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Take care. Maxwell was acting, pretending not to know anything about his best friend, Femi. <laughs> best of the same feather. <laughs> that, that flocks together. <laughs> Maxwell is a good boy. Yo. Maxwell is a very, very good boy. But his crime is that he always wants to cover up Olua Femi. You're right, mommy. Trust me. He's his best friend. Oluwa Femi sent him to come and check if I'm here. You are right. Me, you are right. If not, why did he not drive him to the compound as he normally does? Oh. Hmm? He came to spy your nose. That was why he came. Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi, pray. Oh. Pray that nothing happens to my daughter-in-law. If anything happens to Chidera. <laughs> I will so deal with you that you will ask people if really I am your mother. Listen, bro, even if you drink yourself to stupor or cry from now till heaven falls, it's not going to solve your problem. You have to face your challenge squarely as a man. Look, of a truth, your mother is not in your family house. Because I parked my car by the street and walked to your house. But I only met Joanne there. Mimi had gone out. And I even inquired from some neighbors, and they told me that the last time they saw your mother was when she took you and was taken to your place. I don't know why everything is happening to me. Everything is going wrong. I have to be the most unlucky person in the world. I don't know why everything is just going wrong. It doesn't make sense. It's okay. Be a man, okay? Be a man and handle this issue. First, I think we need to make an entry to the place. I need you to help me, okay? Check Bright's house. Make sure my mother is not there before I make any reports to the police, you know? Just one last try. Okay. I, I will try. You know it's not going to be easy, but I'll try. But first, I have to hurry to the hospital. I have some things to handle there. I Thank just you. came to give you feedback. I really appreciate it. Yourself Thank you. Thank you for everything. Yeah? I'll see you. I'm truly sorry for your loss. I said my condolences, but we did our best. And your best couldn't save my sister. Get out of here or I will push you. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll go. Uh, please, is Femi's mom around? Is she, is she here? Are you for real? Like seriously? Oh, no, 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 no. I know you didn't come for any condolence visits. Femi sent you here to come and find out if his mother is here. And you shamelessly came! 
Like a hugo, she shamelessly came. Well, she's not here. Now get the hell out. Get out! Tell Femi to get ready for me. Because I must deal with him on this case. You fools. You better be ready for me. Now, get out! Take it easy. Leave! Okay, I'll go. Idiot! Sorry about your loss. Oh, you know, I, I heard about Chidera's death. I'm really sorry. Eh? I would have never. I, I didn't know until I met uh, Dr. Max, and and he told me about it. I'm really sorry about you. Okay, <laughs> it's fine there. Yeah. I was shocked to my bones. <laughs> it's okay. Take heart. Okay, I need to be going to work. All right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Take I care. I'll okay? come back to the house. All right. Take All right. care. Yeah.
Lucifer be good afternoon. That is rude. You should at least answer my greetings first. What? You really need to stop drinking. Trust me, it will worsen the situation. You have to stop drinking. What do you mean, your mom? What did you do to her? Why did she leave without telling you? Have you reported to the police? But that is the first thing you should have done. It, it, it's okay. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. I, I'm always around, okay? I will take care of you. I will. Even more than your late wife would have done. It's fine, Femi. Don't worry, okay? Just calm down. All right. Search the house. That's his car there. Oga. Oga must carry my Oga. Come out. The house. They lock. Officers. Don't listen to this boy. Let's go into the house and search that house. Oga, calm down. Abi, you won't teach us our job. He has said his Oga is not in the house. Calm down. I'll show you soon we'll get him apprehended. Are you? Hey. Hey, Oga, that was from the state CID. And you should report to the station immediately. You hear me? Yes, Oga. Failure to do that, there will be consequences. Yes, Oga. Okay? Yes, Oga. Yes, Oga. Tell him we're coming back. Come open the face. Open! Yes, Oga. Wow. Yo, 
You're awake. Thank God. Oh. Oh. Who are you? Where is my husband? Where? Where am I? Madam, uh, you have to calm down, okay? Uh, you have been unconscious for some days now. Uh, That's uh, all I know. Uh, Maybe I can call your brother Bright. Uh, He's in a better position to answer your questions, okay? My head. Uh, I want to see my husband. Uh. To see my husband. Calm down, madam. Where is my husband? Good day, boss. Uh, uh, please, you need to come fast, okay? Uh, Your sister has regained consciousness. Uh, okay. Uh, madam, uh, you will soon be here, okay? I'll call my husband. Call you will soon be here. Just calm down, okay? You soon be here, just cool down. Call my husband, please. There is no justification for any man to raise his hand against his wife. If he really wanted to exhibit his strength, he'll have gone to the Sambisa forest and fought for the country. Maybe then he'll be applauded and known as a hero. What's his wife? So sorry. Femi. Femi has caused my family so much pain. Why, Chidera? Chidera that cannot hurt a single fly. I told her to leave Femi, but she wouldn't listen to me. Now look at me, she has not Hi! It's okay. Mm. Mm. I need to leave now, yeah? <laughs> Call me, you didn't need anything, okay? Please, I, I need to go with her to town. I will talk to you, please. Stop crying. You've cried enough. Mandy, you have to be strong. Mama. Mama, why Chidera? Why Chidera, my sister? Why? Femi killed my sister. Femi beat my sister to death. Hey! Femi, Femi. Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Oluwa Femi! Oh! Oluwa Femi has killed me! Otikba me! Otikba me! Chidera! You know we love Chidera so much. We love her so much. Chidera gave me life. She gave me life. Chidera that came to the hospital to the next block for me to live. Only for her to rush home to freshen up. She met her death. Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi will never go unpunished. Mm. Ah, it's okay. What's it done? Mandy, you know one thing I assure you? If, if there's anything I will try to do in my life, I will make sure eh, that Oluwa Femi will never go free. He will never go unpunished. See, I am not in support of his action, though. No. Do you hear me? If you need anybody to testify to what happened to Chidera, call me. Uh, I shall come to testify. I assure you that. Uh, oh. Hi. Oluwa Femi. Mama. Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi, think about me. Oh. Oh, Chidera. Oh. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mandy. You shouldn't have removed me from Dr. Max's hospital. He has been our family doctor for years. I told you I was not satisfied with their treatment. I couldn't stand you being in coma for so long. So I, I took you away. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, please. I want to see my husband now. Please. Can you 
call him, please. Uh, okay, just concentrate on getting better first. By the way, very good to my friend Dave. He's a friend and he's a good guy. But I've told you, I just want to see my husband. That's all I want. That's all I want now. Okay, you, you will see him. Let me just get somewhere. I want to get something. your mom was missing. Well, I saw her. Yes, I saw her at Maddie's house. You really need to calm down. You need to go on a vacation. Just go somewhere, clear your head off. Yes, I can even go with you. You just have to calm down, okay? Yes. Your mom is not missing. That one is sure. She's not missing. Calm down. All right. All right, I have to go now. Don't tell me you have not been able to arrest this murderer. What's going on? Sir, we are trying our best. We know our work, it's not easy. But we definitely apprehend him. I'll show you that. Just give us a little time. I don't have that time. I don't have that time. Arrest him as soon as possible. Sir, we've mounted intel on him. And he's yes. been aware of his movement, so he's been careful. And we got our eyes on him. I promise you, sir. We'll get him arrested. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, sir. Oga? Ah, ah. Okay, sir. Anything for you? Anything for you? Anything for you? I will send something to you before the end of the day. Ah, sure, sir. Oga, sir. Oga, sir. I'll leave that the service, sir. We will arrest him, sir. Yes. What's going what's, 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 what, what, Are you okay? Telling me that you don't know where she is. You probably be hiding her here. Do you know the stress she caused me? Do you know the stress? Do you know my own baby was rising? And she was saying you were hiding and you were telling me rubbish on the phone. Are you okay? Oh, eh? Your baby is yet to rise. I was looking for her all over the place. You can't look for her very well. Go and look for her very well. If you know where you had your parts, go there and pick your rats there. We don't know what you're talking about. The last place mommy visited was your house. So if, if she's missing, you have to provide her for us. Everything you just said now. It did not register, it wasn't making sense. We are talking ridiculous rubbish. Okay? okay, it wasn't registering. You have three seconds. Okay? Three seconds. I'm going to count to three. And if you do not bring her out here, eh? Mm. I'll do something that all three of us will regret. Okay, well. Everybody here will regret it. Why are you so shameless, Phil? Why are you so shameless? With all your predicaments, you still have the guts. The nerves to say that you will lay your feety hands on us. Hey, Moi, I dare you to try it. Try it, Femi. Lay your hand on us and see what happens to you. No, no try it. You think you try it. it. So it's going to you think, yes. you think it's going to be as small as you think The air country has risen to this ridiculous heights. That's what you're saying. That you're insulting me, you're threatening me. Femi, try it now. You think it's those days will be as small as you used to beat us? Eh? Try it now. I'll arrange this small, small boys. They'll beat you up. But 
You heard her. So she got into this level? Yes. Eh? The insult the F1 has risen to is risen to this ridiculous height. That's what you're saying. That you're insulting me, you're threatening me. You. You mean me, you say you get boys to mend me. You heard her. Get boys to mend me. As per what? It's not a threat. It's a promise, Femi. This is just the tip of an iceberg. Try it. Let this your fitty finger on any of us and see what happens to you. Miss. Threatening me on top of all that. You are threatening me. It's okay, Femi. It's not. Look, I understand your mother's anger. You know that Chidera saved her life. She has Chidera's blood running in her belly. I mean, you can't expect her to just let go of all these things. Bro, listen, you have to take it easy on us. And even on them too. Police are looking for me all over the place. I can't step outside without police looking for me. I don't even know. I can't go to my house now. But it's not safe. It's no longer safe for me. I don't even know where I'm going to sleep. I don't even... Well, I can stay in my place for the meantime. No, thank you. I really appreciate that. But I'll find my way. I don't want to implicate you. More than you're already implicated. You know? Mimi said she's going to call boys to mend me. Me, Femi. My own sister, small sister, will call boys to make me ask me what's happening now. How? Me? Femi? Seeing you like this. Can't you please calm down? Yeah. Her spirit, her spirit will not rest like this. Okay, just just try to calm down. Chidere. Your favorite girl Chomzi reporting live from Wolf Media TV. As you can see, we are at the house of the late Mrs. Chidera Femi Williams. The family and friends of late Mrs. Chidera Williams grieve over the untimely death of our beloved sister. 
Mrs. Shidera Williams was beaten up by her husband to death. We should learn to speak up when things like this happen. From the information I gathered, Mr. Femi Williams has been beating his wife for a very long time. Wish she hid it from so many people except her only sister, Mandy. And she pleaded with her never to tell anyone else because she was hoping that her husband would change. But that led to her untimely death. The family and friends are preparing for her burial. We must say no to domestic violence. Stay tuned for more details. <laughs> My sister. My sister is gone. <laughs> brother immediately. I need to speak with him now. Let me call him, okay? Please just call him. I need to talk to him. I need to talk to him now. You need to put a call to him very fast, please. God, Jesus, no way. This is not happening. Please don't call him. I need to speak with him. Sorry, sis. You can leave. I told you what happened. Your death certificate has been issued. It will be risky for you to go out there. What if Femi kills you? Femi now? will not kill me, and you know it. If Femi kills you now, we cannot nail him. Everybody believe you're dead. I can't believe this. What do you think making the young man go through so much pain? Crying, thinking that I am dead is the best thing to do. This is not fair. This is not right, and I'm very certain you haven't told Mandy about this. I will tell Mandy at the right time. You toy with people's emotions and you sit down there thinking that you are doing the right thing. Bright, why are you doing this? Why are you making people cry thinking that I am dead while I am still alive? You think that is the right thing to do? Listen, you are going to let me get out of this place because I need to return to my husband. This is why I hide the baby. This is why I kept him away because I knew you would go back to him. What if you are dead? Oh, well, thank goodness I did not die. I am still standing here whole and alive. Look at you. Right, if I had died, is this the same way you're going to publicize my death? Well, you better let me out of this room, else you kill me, so that your plans of having a funeral for me while I am still alive can come to pass. Would you let me leave or you want me to take the key by force? I've already seen you, Mom. I've already seen you. There's only a chance how dare you? How dare you budge in on me like that? Mommy, you're me now. I do how can you be doing this to me? I'm drenched in sweat, tension, pressure, threats. Eh? 
I'm your only son now. You can't be doing me like this now. My only son should have thought of my health before he locked me up in his house to die. All of me, you are wicked. You are heartless. Thank God for that, your gate man. Thank God I was able to convince him to open the door for me. Who knows your next line of action? Maybe you would have come back and strangled me to death. I would never, you know, I would never, I would never do that now. Uh, uh, now, mom, you know this now. Uh, I was under pressure, tension, threats, everything. I couldn't even think right. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lock you inside there and just leave you there. I, I just didn't know what to do. I didn't. So I was, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Oluwafemi, you are sorry. I'm sorry. Oluwafemi, will sorry bring back my daughter-in-law? Will this your sorry bring back Chidera to me? You girl that loves me so much. My daughter-in-law that loves me with all her heart. She donated blood for me to live. She saved my life. She gave me life the day you were nowhere to be found. Only for you to come back. The appreciation you could show to her is to send her to any grave. You are telling me. I will never forgive you. I'm sorry. I've said sorry like a billion times. If I could take myself out of this world and bring her back into this world, I'll do it. I'm sorry, but you're my family now. You can't turn against me now. Everybody's already against me. You can't be against me too now. Uh, please, please, I need someone. I don't know what's going to happen. Police are they are looking for me all over town. They, they want to arrest me. Please, I'm on the run. You better go and hand yourself over to the police. Because I have promised Mandy and Bright that I shall testify against you. I think this condolence rubbish has to stop this minute. Chidera is dead and she's gone. All this will just bring back new memories. It's okay, Mandy, it's 
fine. I understand his plight. He is just depressed. Please, do not take it to heart. Maybe this whole thing reminds him so much about her. It's okay. Let's go inside. <laughs> being fed to yourself. You're on drugs. You need to eat so that the drugs can work. Okay? Please. Can I use your phone to call my husband? Please. My phone? Please. I really feel pity for you, madam. I'll be going against your brother's agreement with me if I do so. Then leave me alone. You're heartless. You are wicked. How would you feel if you're locked up in a room and you can't see your loved ones? You are heartless. You are mean. I think we should plan to bury Chidera so that her spirit can rest in peace. Since Femi is nowhere to be found. There's no way Chidera will rest in peace. As long as that murderer is walking around a free man. The only way, I repeat, the only way Chidera will rest in peace is that we avenge her death. I understand, brother. But burying her does not stop us from avenging her death. It does. It does. Her corpse is our only evidence. His mother has already accepted to come to the court to testify against him. And that makes it easier for us. Don't worry. Very soon, all of these things will be over. I will give you there.
All I'm asking him is that you let me return to my husband. I know Femi. He must be broken at this point. I know he must have lost it all thinking that I am dead. But you and I know that I am still alive. I am still here with you. Please. I'm begging you. Listen. I know you are trying to do everything to make sure that I leave. To make sure that I stay alive. But this is not the best for me. It is not the best for us. How long are we going to keep it? How long are we going to tell people that I am dead, knowing full well that I am still here? Please, I beg you in God's name, let me go. Shidera, why are you painting this picture? Of a man who wants to save you and preserve you from being killed by that monster. What kind of love is this? This was how you were dying in silence. You didn't let us know that he was beating you. You have taken that risk before living with that monster. Why do you want to take that risk for a second time? I love that man. I love him from the deepest parts of my heart. Living with him has never been a mistake. You can't call our love stupid. You know it has never been stupid. You know how genuinely I love Femi. Please, I am begging you to just let me go. Please, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Okay. Just eat your food. Take your medication. The doctor will be coming to examine you. I'll try and do something. I beg you in the name of whatsoever you hold dear to you. Don't let your only son go to jail. Please, don't testify against him. Mommy, can't you see that Bright is heartless? How can he be encouraging you to testify against your only son? Ah, ah. Maxwell, it's not about Bright. Too. It's about my beloved daughter-in-law. A girl that loved me so much like her own mother. Cover evil, no matter who committed it. Do you hear me? I can't lie against a girl that her blood runs in my vein. Oh, you want me to cover the person that killed her because it's my son? Ah, Maxwell, I cannot do that. Oluwa Femi will not go unpunished. Mommy, mommy, I understand your anger, but it's said that when you beat a child with the right hand. You draw him closer with the left hand. Mommy, this is a mother case, and a very big one at that. Look, Mommy, if you don't come to court to testify against him, I will get a good lawyer to defend him, and we will try our luck. But if you testify against him, he will be sentenced to life imprisonment, or he could even get a death sentence, Mommy. And Chidera, Chidera will still not come back to life. I will, I, will, I will allow you to think about it. At the moment, Femi is at the state CID. After his first hearing at the court, he will be transferred to the prison. 
you, you can visit him there too. But please, I beg you, try and consider. Think about it. This is your only son. As much as Femi is wrong, he shouldn't be his own family testifying against him in court, let alone his own mother. No, it's appalling. I agree with you. I've been thinking the best way to convince mommy not to do it. Because it's very wrong. This is not right at all. Joanne, no matter what, Femi is our brother. Our blood. Eh? And you know mommy is the problem we have here. You know how she behaves whenever she made up her mind. Nothing can change it. Eh? I think you should have him mentally checked. Why did you say so? He said he can never lie against his dead wife. No one in his right senses says that. So I think you should send him to a psychiatric hospital where he'll be mentally checked. Barossa, there is no need for that. Femi is very sound. I know him well. Yes, so don't uh, listen to whatever he tells you. Just find a way to help me and get him out of this mess. You know, that guy is actually very nice. Yes. It's just that when uh, shit happens like this, the victim looks like the worst person on earth. And that's his situation. It's okay. I will try again because of you. Yes. But you have to tell me everything you know. And then I will try and talk to the mother, woman to woman. No problem. Just do your best. Just do everything you can to help me. Amen. And I promise you, I will do what you have seen. It's okay. I have taken a formal briefing from my client, and I am of the legal opinion that he's just a suspect. In as much as I respect your office as a legal practitioner, you cannot detect to Ross when to release a suspect. So, on what grounds are you still detaining him for over 24 hours? Excuse me. Your client, Mr. Femi Williams, has been charged to court and will be brought before a judge on Monday by 9 a.m. At least we're getting somewhere. Of course. See you in court then. See you in court. Yes, I've not been around. Oh. Mm. Okay, babe, mm. I'm actually going to see Mimi and John. I've not seen them since they lost that beautiful sister in law. Me too. I've not seen them too. Eh. But how can a man beat his wife to death? How do you mean? Femi beat his wife to death. He beat her mercilessly until she died. Now, wow, this is terrible. It's not me. Rumor has it that he beat his wife to death. This is terrible. I've never seen this kind of a thing before. Very, very terrible, my sister. Anyways, you have to keep your mouth shut. I didn't tell you anything. I have to run along now. I'm very late for work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
This is a murder case and a very vital one at that. And as such requires strong evidence for us to nail it. <laughs> Barrister, you don't even have to stress yourself. The stupid murderer's mother is ready and standing by to testify against him in court that he beat my sister to death. Wow, that's a good one. A very beautiful one. You just go through the case file and prepare for Monday. Then we'll meet in court on Monday. In that case, I'll see you in court then. Please, prepare so that you can be very outspoken and rugged. You know, I love rugged lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> and I have your back. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Mm -hmm. That good woman, I'm so rested. Yes. Amen. 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 This should serve as a warning to every other man out there. And to be ladies, we need to mind the kind of man we end up with all in the name of marriage or relationship. I feel for you guys because this will really damage the image of your family. Are you okay? Is something wrong with you? What will change the image of our family? Sorry, your queen told me your brother beat his wife to death. Really? Really? You go back and tell queen, eh? That she is jealous, eh? And that rumor will kill her. Did you hear me? See, tell her that if I should set my eyes on her, I'm going to deal with her. And you rumor spread that what you read from from one place to the other and look for what to say, eh? Go back to her and tell her, keep put of you, I'm going to deal with you. Come on, will you leave this place? You have got. Like, where did you buy it? No, tell me, where did you buy your gods? You have the F on tree. The nerves to walk into our compound with your two left legs. Oh my god. To come and tell us what you and Queen gossip about our family. You know what? Just leave me in peace before we commit another murder. Leave! Oh yeah. And when next That's you try me. this rubbish, Madam, stand up and leave! We are talking to you! That. When next you try this rubbish? Please. When next? Sister. When next? Mommy. Mommy, Joe. We are all angry at Brother Femi. I know. But mommy, this is all about losing another life. Mommy, have you thought about the pains? Have you thought about the feelings? Mommy, do you know how Brian Femi will feel? Seeing his own mother coming to testify against him in the court. Ah, mommy. Mommy. Mommy, Joe. The trauma alone will kill him even before the judge passed that sentence on him. I need you. Forgive Brian Femi. Your mommy. Vera was right then. Mommy, this is your action. It's going to tarnish the image of this family. Yes, mommy. And a bad influence to Joan and I. Do you want us to remain unmarried? Eh, hey, mommy? No man will want to marry from a family of a mother. The stigma will be even to the future of the generation to come. And you know that. Please, mommy. Yeah. But the mother is already out there. Yes, the mommy. The is already out. Yes, mommy. Mm -hmm. But without proof. Without proof, mommy, which can be dialogued and defended. Ah. Yes, mommy. You okay? Mommy. What are you guys saying? Ah, no. Chidera will never forgive me. If I fail to reveal her killer to the world, and the killer is your child, Femi, then, yeah, Mommy, that's your beloved son. Your beloved son that you love so much, Mommy. Eh, hey, Mommy, will do it, doing that really bring Chidera back to life. But at least, Chidera's spirit will, 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 will rest in peace. We rest in peace, knowing that her killer did not go scot free. You guys should not blackmail me. Do not blackmail me emotionally. No, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Stop, stop, stop. Stop this. No, mommy. Mommy. Mommy, her spirit cannot rest. Knowing that her own mother in law sentenced her husband to death. Ah, mommy. Mommy, Chidera will not be happy. Losing two lives in the family at the same time. Mommy, 
Mommy, you know how much Chidera loves Brother Femi. That she forgives him on anything he might have done to her. Mommy, please. Mommy, Ejo. Ejo, Mommy. Tampa justice with mercy. Ejo. Mommy, you know, everyone deserves a second chance. I remember you used to love him so much. He's your favorite child. He used to make you proud. Have you forgotten all these things, yeah, Mommy? That was then. That was then. It can still be now. You know. Reflect back to all the wonderful things he has, he has done that made you love him so much. Trust me, Mommy. You'll find a reason to pardon him. Yes, Mommy. Please. Oluwa Femi. Oh. Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi hurt me to my bone. He killed my lovely daughter-in-law that lost me like her own mother. <gasps> Who did Jidera offend? Hello viewers, it's your favorite girl Chomzi reporting live from Media Wolf TV. And I'm live at the court on the case of Mr. Femi Williams, who allegedly beat his wife, late Mrs. Chidera Williams, to death. Today is the first hearing on the matter, and I'm reporting live from the court. Cameraman, please kindly focus on the suspect. Mr. Femi, you know today is the first hearing of your case, and whatever you say in there will be the routine in judging this case. I have filed a counter charge declaring you not guilty of all the charge against you. So if you go in there and plead guilty, you will ruin all my efforts. You will go to jail or even get a death sentence. <sighs> Mr. Femi, this is not the time for you to be emotional. You don't get it. You don't understand. Okay? I killed my wife. I killed her. I can't go and lie on her after killing her. That's horrible. That's not. That's horrible. That's worse than whatever the devil did to be kicked out of heaven. I'm Please telling you. No, you no, it's wrong. It's wrong. I, so you know, bro, it's I killed her with my hands, bro. And I can't go on there under oath and lie and say that I didn't do it. It's the noble thing to do. I need to. It's a noble thing to do, and yet yes. you beat her to death. Yeah. Uh, Barista. Oh, I, I know I deserve it. Barista, I please don't listen to him. Just do what you need to do to help me. Okay? I mean, why can I have a word with you in private? Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here before I bust that camera. That you have a very good heart. I don't want to continue living like this. I'm in so much pain. I'm begging you. Please. I just want to see my husband. I promise you, he's not a bad man. Look, look at him. Look at him looking all sober and broken. He didn't mean any of the things he did to me. He didn't mean to hit me. He didn't have any intentions of even killing me. And he has been seen a shrink, trying to get help with his temper. I love him and... And I miss him. I just... I'm begging you, I just, I just want to see him. I just want to see him, please. Please. I'm you. Madam. Please. Crying is not going to solve the problem. 
I'm a professional in what I do. I've been paid not to let you go out of this room. I'm strictly working on your brother's directives. I'm so sorry, please. not have anything to worry about. I am the counsel defending Mr. Femi Williams and it's never against the law for me to advise my client before going to court. What is happening to him is emotional blackmail and he's trying to use it to pin himself in court. We can't let him go in like that because if he does, he's going to plead guilty to the charge and if he does that, the matter is over. But we can't let him do that. Of course we can't. So what do we do? I will appeal to the judge that my client is mentally unstable due to the sudden death of his wife whom he loves so much and, then, and that he should be sent to the psychiatric hospital where he will be mentally checked. I believe that the judge will grant that and if he does, we will go there and work on him some more. I think that's a brilliant idea. Oh, it is. Please, let's go with it. Okay. I can imagine the pain in Femi's heart today. He couldn't take his eyes off you, Yami. He cried all through in court. If Femi goes to life in prison, I'll get a death sentence. My family will be depressed. My baby, even Papi will not be happy with us. Wherever he is, he will not be happy with us. Hey, Joe, mommy. Mommy. Hey, Joe. Yeah, me. Femi is the first proof of your womanhood. Your first fruits. Even God does not joke with first fruits. You have to promise me that you will get married to me once you are out of this detention. You need to stop clinging on to hope that we'll get married. We're not going to get married. How, how will you look to people? They will think I killed my wife to get married to her best friend. That's not going to happen, okay? It's not going to happen. People's opinion, what people will say, I mean, it doesn't matter. And I need you to stop trying to get me out of here. I've made up my mind. I'm going to plead guilty to the charges. We're done. Guard! We're done. I'm interested in suit number four on the cost list, my lord. Court clerk? My lord. 
call of the case. Suit number AN slash 4 slash 2022. Femi Williams versus the states. My Lord, both parties are present in court. Any appearances? With most profound humility, my Lord, Larry Emu, Esquire, appearing for the plaintiff. Emu is spelled E-M-U as an E-M-U, my Lord. Barrister Omar Jacob standing in for Mr. Femi Williams, the defendant. My Lord, according to the test result that was conducted on the disease when she was rushed to the hospital, she suffered from migraine. The result is here with me and I wish to tender it. Court clerk. My Lord. Collect it. My Lord. This is taken and marked as Exhibit A. As court pleases. My Lord, according to my client, the accused, the disease usually complained of having migraine, which she never treated properly, but prefers to take common pill to calm it for the moment. According to my client, the accused, the diseased husband, the disease who had health issues and was ignoring it, went ahead to donate blood to her mother-in-law, Mrs. Bola Williams. It was that same day that she had the attack and was rushed to the hospital by her loving husband. My lord, that will be all for now. Thank you. Prosecuting counsel. My lord. Cross yes, my lord. My lord, I have an eyewitness to how Mr. Femi Williams murdered his wife. Objection, my lord. Objection sustained. Prosecuting counsel, please rephrase your statement. Thank you, my lord. My lord, I have an eyewitness in the person of Mrs. Bola Williams to testify on the death of Mrs. Chidera Williams, my lord. Bring her forward for a question. Thank you, my lord. The state calls upon Mrs. Bola Williams to take the witness box for Crocs examination, my lord. Christian, Muslim, or a pagan? I am a Christian. Say after me. I swear by the Almighty God. I swear by the Almighty God. That whatever I'm going to say before this honorable court. That whatever I'm going to say before this honorable court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Mrs. Bola Williams, could you please tell this honorable court your relationship with the accused? He is my son. Order, order. <laughs> could you please tell this honorable court 
the incident preceding the death of Mrs. Chidera Williams. you do this for me I, I don't know what else to do but it's, it's really urgent the, the thing is please please you have to help me I am begging you I don't want that man to go to jail for something he did not do I am still alive I'm not dead please I beg you just do what you can do for me. Let me go. Let me. I, I, I need to get to the courts. Listen, you need to come and see. I, I just saw it on the news that his mother is at the court to testify against her own son. And that is because of the love she has for me. You and I know that it is not right for a mother to testify against her own son. It's even worse that I am still alive while they are thinking that I am dead. This man has done nothing. Please. I have cried. I have pleaded. I am tired and broken. I, I don't even have the strength to cry anymore. But please, just, just help me. Help me, please. I have told you. I cannot help you. Only what I can do for you is to help you call your brother, so you can speak to him. Okay? Dave, why are you this heartless, Dave? Share with me. Uh, okay, I'll take this one. one. <laughs> so, um, where's your daughter-in-law? Ah, Chidera. She went to the pharmacy to get my BP drugs. Chidera is a wonderful daughter-in-law. That girl is a godsend to you and to the family. She is. She's an amazing woman, you know. I got lucky. <laughs> God bless me with that one. <laughs> Hello, Afemi. Yes, ma'am. You just said that Chidera is a, an amazing woman. And I know you love her. I do. Huh? I do, I do. With all of me. So, where is the problem coming from? Problem? Why do you always beat her? You just said it with your own mother that she's an amazing woman. That you love her. Why? She's an amazing woman. Okay, I'm not saying she's not an amazing She's an amazing woman, obviously. So I say that first. But she can be annoying. 
She can be annoying. I mean, I, and I have hot temper, so I'm taking ownership of the situation. I'm not running away, I'm taking responsibility, but she can be very annoying. And I can't, I try to hold myself back. Uh, I do hold myself back, actually, because when I'm, you know, Olu, I don't, I hope. Olu, 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 I registered you in a rehab center. Yes. So that they can co help me correct this, your hot temper. But the report I got is that you just visited it twice. Why? I've been busy. You know, work. Work has been like, I've been swamped with, with work, you know. But I'll start going. I'll start going for you. Eh? Please, I don't want your heart to. I'll start going. Femi. Yes, ma'am. Oluwa Femi. Yes, ma'am. How many times did I call you? Call me two times, ma'am. Oluwa Femi, if you want me to live long for you and your siblings. Ah, no, don't talk like that. Uh, you stop beating Chidela. I love that girl so much. She's my life. Chidela is a good woman. Each time you beat her, my BP rises. I don't want your BP to rise, so I won't beat her. I, pr I, give, you my, I give you my word. I will not beat her ever again. Okay, and I'll start attending those classes. Okay, just to make your beep back, your beep can rise again. Go for beep back, son. Oluwa Femi. Uh, sweetest mother in the world. <laughs> eh? Mm -hmm. I love you, you so much. You know I love you too. Ah. And I love Jidera. Yes. Hmm? I promise I won't, I won't touch her again in that way. I'll touch her in the way that I'll give you grandchildren. Uh Better. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, girl. I took it too far. Enjoy yourself. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't really, you know, I get it because of you. But you know, I love you so much. I love you so much too. But if it was pizza, I would not carry on going. <laughs> <laughs> I let me go and freshen up, okay? I'll, I'll join you in a bit. It's okay. Right. You're welcome. Yeah. Now. I begged you to stop beating this girl. Stop beating your wife, but you wouldn't really listen. Imagine the kind of shame you have brought to this family. We are not top of the town. You've made us a topic for me. This is very rare that a woman would testify against her own son. My sister showed her so much love, and she loves her in return. She knows that her son is a monster. Her pain is that this thing happened the very day my sister donated blood to her in the hospital, when her son was nowhere to be found. So she's ready to go to any length. So now that everything is like this, are you sure she's going to come and testify? Why not? She gave us her word. She knows her son is a beast. We have to be very sure because this is the only strong evidence we have against Femi. In that case, let's go to her house. All right. For what? To be sure she is in line with the agreement we made for her to testify against Femi in court. Did you hear yourself talk? Ah! Bright! Where is your conscience? Eh? So I thought you came here to know how my mother is feeling. Even when you know she fainted at the court the other day. Trying to, 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 to protest against her own son. You can imagine. Then the courts. You know. Ah! Oh, my shell. 
Well, we're not here for you. Just call your mother for me. Go and call her. She did that because of the love she had for Chidera. Of which Chidera also loved her by even donating her own blood to save her life. You, you that is talking, if you're a good sister-in-law, you should be joining your mother to testify against that monster you call your brother. You won't see her. Nice speech, Bright. Best speech of the year. Do you listen to yourself talk? We should join our mother to testify against our only brother in the court to be killed so that my family name will be closed. Oh, that's fine. Do you know what? I think the best way to go about this, you have to lend me a gun. Just hire me a gun. Let me go and shoot him so that the case will be closed. So everybody will be fine if that will make you happy. You see how wicked human beings can be. You can't see her, Bright. Mr. Bright, you cannot see her. And please stop blackmailing my mother. Hey, your sister did this, your sister did that. Is she the only one being nice here? I don't know. My mother has also been nice to her in so many ways. Yes, she approved of my brother getting married to her. We have five fine girls now from my place. They are Yoruba girls, fine, fine ones. That's where they begging my brother to get married to them. But my mother chose your sister over them. So is that not a favor also? I don't know. Is that not a huge favor? Barista, okay. I'll just call her on the phone. Yes. Use other means to win your case and stop dragging my mother to testify against her own son. Please, you heard her. Please. You people should leave my mother alone. Let her be for once. Do you want to kill her? Barrister Oluji, please, I want you to help me take up Femi's case. I know your capability, that is why I called you. I want you to help me take up Femi's case from that other barrister because I want someone I can trust to handle it. Because I know that you are not going to take bribe from anyone. And as for Bright, He's capable of anything and he's trying so hard to nail Femi and I do not want that to happen. Please, I want you to help me. Honestly, I'm surprised at you. You're supposed to be on Bright's side to make sure that the killer of your best friend does not go unpunished. On the contrary, I do not want Femi to go to jail or die. Let's say this is the chance. I have to take my would-have-been husband back. How do you mean? Let me tell you. Femi was supposed to be mine. I saw him first. Yeah. <laughs> you two like mad. Hi. See how you were staring at me. Yes, 
shit, though. Come on, look at you. Oh, yeah, we have like 50 meters to cover. Let's go. Oh, if you go see man now, you know, go fire now. My friend, that was let's go. Oh, yes. This is the time for me to take what is rightfully mine back. And I must take it. But from what you've told me, Femi was never yours. He never had eyes on you. I suggest you go and mourn your best friend genuinely. It seems you are not getting me. I just told you that I saw him first and I declared my intention. Before she came from nowhere and diverted his attention towards herself with her good girl attitude. That you saw him first is not an excuse. Besides, that guy is a woman beater. He might end up killing you as well. Lies. He was only beating her because they were not meant for each other. She snatched him away from me. Uh, uh, well, that's by the way. So, Barrister Aluchi, are you ready to take up the case or not? I think we should just let the woman be. Please don't get me wrong. That woman has shown Chidera so much love. In fact, she's planning to testify against her only son, which no one can do. Even me, I can't even do it for anyone, no matter what. I think we should just please withdraw the case from the courts and let's bury Chidera in peace so we can focus on our lives. Please. She must do it. That woman is not supposed to be alive if Chidera didn't donate blood to her. Brother, please, stop blackmailing her emotionally with that fat. Please, I, I'm, I mean, I'm feeling bad that we're dragging Chidera's marriage and death in public all because you're painting Femi to be a terrible husband to her. Please. Brother, please, just, just withdraw the case. Please, brother. Brother, please. Please, I'm begging you with everything you want, dear. Let me leave this place. You, can, you can't continue to lock me up in here. Piccolo, I'm begging you, please. Don't worry. It will end very soon and you'll get your freedom. The court will convince him soon and push him for death sentence either by hanging or firing squad. Jesus Christ. As soon as that happens, you get your freedom. Just have small patience for me so I can achieve all I want for that bastard. Wait, wait a minute. I, I did not hear you clearly. You're... You're pushing for, for death sentence for my husband? Bryce, how can you do such a thing? What wrong have I done to you? Don't you want my happiness? Where did I go wrong? What did I do to you? Bryce, how can you, how can you do this to a man you know I love? A man you know makes me happy. A man who gives me joy. You want to cut short his life? Right, I promise you. If you do anything to Femi, if anything happens to that young man, I swear on my life, I will never forgive you. Even in my grave, my spirit will haunt you for the rest of your life. Why are you doing this? Why did you become a monster, Bright? To the point that you should not even tell Mandy that I am still alive. She's out there crying, thinking that I am dead while I am still alive. Locked up in a room and I don't know how long you're going to keep me here. 
this. Brides, remember how close we are. From childhood, we've always had each other's back, even before our parents died. Bright, it's been me for you and you for me. You promised to always be there for me. Please, I am begging you. I am begging you. I know you are not hard-hearted. I, I, I know you are a good man and you would do anything to make me happy. Please. Be go. Be go. Be go. Please. Dave. Boss. You said your sister's body is not yet buried. And you wanted to win this case at all costs. Uh -huh. Then the autopsy is the only solution. Since Mrs. Bola Williams has refused to come as a witness against Mr. Femi, this is the only evidence we have. Well, uh, I still think you should have suggested the autopsy. Don't worry. Let's go. Don't worry. Let me handle the case. Barissa, I'm scared. I'm still scared. If the autopsy result comes out, it will counter what we presented to the court, and I may lose my license. This famous case is trying to ruin my life and career. I think we should talk to Bright and Mandy to see if we can settle out of court. I totally understand your plight, but I think we can resolve this in a family way. So we can give Chidera a befitting burial. Look, even if we go to court from now till hell goes over, it's not going to bring her back to life. And this thing is bringing distraction and affecting our businesses. Then, produce the original result to which my sister died. Let the man be convicted. Please, Bright. I think it's best we settle out of court. For the interest of everybody. Why are all of you scared at the mention of the autopsy? Let me ask you. What is your fear? I thought you said the result you presented was the original result of why my sister died. I will make sure Femi dies for killing my sister. And I will make sure that your hospital is shut down. Now, Lixton, Dr. Max, if I see you in my house again, I will report you in the court that you came here to bribe me. Now, leave my house. I'll meet you in court. If only they know that I'm even more scared about the autopsy that my stupid 
barrister suggested without consulting me. Joan, I'm Mimi. You see how life is? The table turns around. The other day, I was in your house begging you to allow your mother fulfill the promise that she made to us. You all bluntly refused. And now you're here begging me to withdraw the case from court. Let me ask you. Why are you all scared about the autopsy? You're not talking. It means you all know that Femi killed my sister, beat her to death, and you're all covering up. Um, sir, uh, Bright, uh, Uncle Bright, see, Femi is our brother, yes, but not enough reason to stand evil. We don't support evil, do we? No, we don't. We don't support evil. So you have to believe me when I tell you we do not know anything about it. We don't. Am I lying? Well, the Bible even said it. The wages of sin is death. I am a Christian. And I am strictly following the Bible. Femi killed my sister. He must die. Even if it's my last blood. I'm out of here. Mandy, please help us. Femi is our only brother. Please, we are begging. Trust me. I have been talking to him to withdraw the case. But not because of Femi. But because of my late sister. Because even in death, I know she will not be happy that we are making her death public. Do you understand? Um. Mandy, it's okay. Um, we have to take our leave now. Mommy, you have to tell us the truth. We need to know. The brother Femi actually killed Chidera. I was not there when it happened though. But I overheard him telling Maxwell that he beat her and she fainted. He now rushed her to the hospital, which she did and never come out of. Oluwa Femi killed her. That happened the same day that poor girl donated blood to save my life. Even God in heaven will never forgive me if I deny that girl justice. Not when her blood was in my head. to your favorite chicken and rice and chicken. Thank you. You have done really, really well. You think this is what I need? You are buying me food to keep me alive, isn't it? But let me surprise you. This life you are trying to save will be lost if anything happens to Femi. Don't you dare threaten me without your words. How do you want me to release you back to that bastard who nearly snuffed life out of you? And you think the best thing is for the mother to testify against her own son? 
You are fine with that. Alright, so this is not you. This is not the brother I have known all my life. You have gradually turned yourself into a devil in disguise. What is this you are doing? You want Femi's head at all costs, knowing full well that I am still alive. My mother never raised the beast. This is not you. I know you are trying to do all this to help me, but let me make it clear. I don't need your help. I am fed up. I am tired. I am broken. I do not want any help from you anymore. Leave me alone and let me go back to my husband's house. That is all I ask. Let me go. All you do is walk away. It's time I talk. That is all you do. That is all you do. Well done. How much is your salary? 50k. I can make you very rich if you comply with me. Thank you, Oga. God bless you. Don't thank me yet. I've not made you rich. And God has already blessed me. Now listen. I want you to give me a tally number to this date and the information I'm going to give you. And then you burn down this mortuary. I will give you one million naira. That money is tempting, but it will not be possible. What will I not tell the owner of the dead body? Tell them it happened in the night. Electric sparked. And you tried to quench it, but it burned very fast. Okay, I'll make it 1.5 million. flash flood that occurred in Peru in 2016. Oh my god. This guy is lost in over me. I am no longer safe with him. I have to tell my brother before he gets into something else. No. I don't have to tell him. I think this should be a gateway to my freedom. Here we see the sheer power of Mother Nature as excessive rainfall caused devastating floods in Nepal in 2022. Please, Mandy, don't get me wrong. I am not saying we shouldn't avenge Chidera's death. I am only considering her kind of person why she was here. How she will feel in the spirit world about this whole court case. You know she's a very decent woman and she shouldn't be disgraced in debt. You are very correct, my dear. But the problem is bright. I have told him this, but he wouldn't listen. Then you have to convince him. <sighs> convince him. Chidera is a very private person. Can you believe she even hid her marriage predicament from me, her best friend? She was always telling me that her husband is the best man on earth. Her husband is so amazing and I never knew she was going through a lot. Please, she was a decent woman and we have to respect her wish even in death. Tell Bright to withdraw the case so we can bury her in peace. Please. Brother, 
Brother, I just got a message now that the mortuary where Chidera corpse is got bombed. What? This must be the handwork of Femi and his gang. So the autopsy will not be conducted. No, no, I disagree with you. You are the one at fault here. If only you had listened to me and we do the case like I begged you to, this wouldn't have happened. Just, just, just look at how you disgraced Chidera's corpse. Now her corpse is roasted. Go and feed on her corpse. Go and feed on her corpse. Wow. Good boy. There's nothing money can do. What if the dead bodies begin to chase after him? Well, that's his business. After all, I paid him. Mm. Correct. Femi, I made this food myself. And I made it specially for you. I know you will like it. Please, my love. Don't worry. I will do everything possible to get you out of here. So we can relocate to somewhere far away and get married. I mean, Judera's death is karma that caught up with her for snatching you away from me. You sound like you're happy she died. She was your best friend. Not until she snatched you from me. Snatched me from me? What on earth are you talking about? Snatched me from you? Yes. I never had eyes for you. I was always into her from the very first day I saw her. Like, what are you talking about? I don't ever want to see you here again. I do not want you or your health trying to get me out of here because I killed her, okay? and I'm ready to die. I don't ever want to see you here ever again. Guards! Guards! Hey, I don't, I don't, whenever she comes here, do not bring me out. Do not bring me out if she ever comes back here again. Is that clear? Leave! Franco, my guy. Omo, hey, hey, hey. Some people are very lucky and foolish at the same time. How do you mean? You know that uh, that Mr. Femi Williams now, we get him on that case. Listen, that guy refused to eat. The man said one time for a year. He gave one fish to wake come. Come bring food for him. The, the, the guy said no one eat. Eh? He reject the food. Say even the woman come to say won't do everything to come up from reject. this place. Say won't do everything you know, we did in power make come up time for this. See, that guy, that lady, that guy say, say no one time. Say, make the lady remove his eye from anything, any defense. Where you say you want to give her for court, make come out. Hmm. This is really serious. That guy, eh, eh, say, you know, say he refused to eat food. Eh, and I don't want to say any day when no eat. They can't beat him when I go give him for you, eh. I go beat her, I go join you, I go join her and beat her. Does he want to die here? I don't know that he won't come die for here. He won't come die for, my, for our own custody. For, for here, here, God forbid. No people put me for trouble. Yeah. I don't just go beat him. Beat him. Nonsense. Come on for your body. If you refuse to eat. Eh? Omo, make a go sign out now. Make a figure out. You were very intensified against me on the road this and that show. I feel like dirt for being a horrible husband to a great woman like Chidera. I'm ready to die. I've made up my mind that death is my fate. If I lived, Life will be so meaningless. I'll be saddened and burdened with the fact that I killed my wife, a woman that has been nothing but great to me, a woman that has been nothing but loving and caring 
that she put her trust in me and I returned all that good fate by killing her with death. I returned her with death. I love you, mother. And if I was to come back to this world again, I was get a second chance. So I want you to be my mother. the flesh, but not the soul. Mm. Ha, Femi. Femi, you will never go unpunished. You will know no peace in your miserable life. You will suffer. Heaven and earth will rise against you. Oh, God. Just make sure that Mondra get a death sentence. And you can beckon on me anytime I will be here. We are in this together. I can even hire another lawyer to support the one you hired. He will never know peace. He will not go scot free for killing my best friend. Hi. Oh, Chidera. Chidera, hi. Okay. Hmm. You killed my friend. Chidera. Chidera. Hi. Bro, I see they are treating you fine. Guess what? I have a good news. The mortuary has been burnt. All I need you to do now is to plead not guilty in our next heaven in court. And also, I think we should put your mother away. Just so there won't be any evidence against you. Bro, if you can do this, I assure you we're going to get out of this. It's guaranteed. I'll say this again. I've said it before, but I'll repeat this again. Just in case you forgot. I'll plead guilty to the charges. I need to face the consequences of my actions. But you're a great friend. I'm being honest with you. If I was to come back to this world again, I would love to be your friend. Because you've done great by me. You've been honorable and noble. Thank you. And the funny thing was that I was actually wearing a very colorful dress that and you know how somebody pops when you're wearing a good dress. So this woman actually came to me. Awesome. Nem, you are looking so fine. You are. You are <laughs> Dave, you are very <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, uh, um, Dave, 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 Dave. Um listen. I am um, I know you've actually been very nice to me, hmm? but I think we should take it a little bit easy. I mean, let's get more acquainted. You know, it's actually more beautiful when we become friends, and then it grows into a relationship. And afterward, who knows what might happen? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's better we take it easy, okay? It's cool, it's cool. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying, this woman just came to me, and then she said, I'm afraid we do not have any concrete evidence against Mr. Femi. Mrs. Bola Williams has refused to come and testify. And the mortuary got burned. I think we should consider settling out of court. <laughs> Don't worry. I will come up with something before the next court here. Just give me time. Let me think out something. It's all right. Thank you. All right. All right. She 
took care of you like her own brother. This is the time for you to pay her back for all the good things she did for you. Madam, my madam was too good to me. Oh. She was very nice to me. Even till now, eh? Her debt, they pay me. But I, I never go police station before. And I no one go for my entire life till I die. You're not going to police station. You're coming to the court. Hey! Okay, me. Court. What did I they go to there now? Okay, I beg now. That one a bigger police station now. Eh? I beg. I never go there before. What I go go there, go talk now. I don't know even what me I go talk. Okay, I beg now. Okay, I beg. Okay. Nothing much. Hey. Nothing much. You're coming to tell the judge what happened that very day she was rushed to the hospital and how her husband beat her. Ah. Okay. Me, I don't know. I don't inside my small apartment where they give me. I don't know what even happened that day. I don't know. Ah. Me, court, police station. Huh? pity for them all, especially that dead woman. But that will not make me say anything to them. Because it will not only implicate this hospital, it will also put us in trouble. My dear, I understand though, eh? But you would have considered him because of the marriage thing. Or would you to remain single? You don't demand, okay? I don't blame you, I blame myself for telling you. I would require I bet come, let's go inside though before the come. Mami, are you come this way? Go. No, no, no. Every effort to get another evidence failed. What do I do now? I can't afford to let Femi walk away a free man. What will even be my fate? If the court finds out that Chidera is alive and I hid her. I can't afford to go to jail either. I will have to leave the country. No, I can't run away. That will make me less a man. I will stay to the end. Running down the mortuary will save Femi. I will win this case and Femi must die. Honestly, you've gone out of your normal self and you're letting these things take the better part of you. Oh, you even have mouth to talk. Don't worry. Just in a few hours' time, when the judge must have passed judgment on Femi, you will eat your tears. Story. You know him, Jerry. Your plans will not work. It's you that will eat your own tears. Are you okay? Are you? I will try my best. That's how you have promised me you're going to do your best. But it has not yielded result. Huh? I don't care how you do it. Go in there and win this case. 
you have assured me you are going to win this case. And I paid you heavily for it. Go in there, speak grammar, win this case. Else, you refund me all the time I paid you. Just look at this man. What do you want me to do without any evidence? My lord, the mortuary where the deceased was deposited was set ablaze and all the corpse burnt to ashes. My lord, that mortuary was erected in 1970 and as such marks it 52 years now. And never has it been recorded that there was a fire incident or an outbreak there. Until that directive was given by you, my lord, to carry out an autopsy on the deceased. My lord, therefore, I seek to tell this honorable court that the accused had a hand and knowledge in the burning of that mortuary. Because he knows that that autopsy would reveal the truth, my lord. Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. Prosecuting counsel, you may continue. That will be all, my lord. My lord. The court will move on two hours recess and let the mortuary attendant appear in court for question. I rise. Court! Ever gorgeous Tony Dave. I mean, look at you. You look so good in black. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're looking so nice. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, are you? I'm very well, just that I've been bored. You left me here by myself the whole time. You didn't wow. bother to come and check on me. So sorry, I'm here for you. Really? Okay. <laughs> um, you know that thing you're doing right there? It's really, really nice. But I would love you to have a cold bath while I stay here in the bed and wait for you to come out of the bathroom. <laughs> what do you think about sure, that? Sure, sure. Really? I'll do that right away. Oh, day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, puppy. <laughs> Run along, okay? Oh, day. Oh. Now you got um. me. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, day. <laughs> you really have that masculine body. I mean, it's strong. <laughs> I can't wait to have you here. <laughs> really? <laughs> I want everything. Everything. <laughs> oh, Dave. No, no, you don't have to rush. Take it easy, okay? <laughs> I'm okay. coming. I will before you leave. You have to get to something. I'm coming at the way. All right, Papi. I'll be with you. In the I'm coming.
I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready for you, baby. Dubé, do you want to tell this honorable court in all insightful apprehension that that mortuary set itself ablaze? I think so. It happened in the night when I have already gone to bed. The burning gets serious. I was almost choking. I woke up and see the mortuary burning. I tried to point the fire. It was one and more than one person can handle. Hello, that will be all for now. You must step down. Having heard from the prosecuting and defense counsel, this is my judgment. I have something to say. My lord, my client has been hypnotized. Please ignore him. I'm here to represent him. Objection, my lord. A learned colleague here is trying to prevent the accused from saying the truth. Objection sustained. Mr. Femi, you may continue. I don't think there's any use for the judgment today. Because I killed my wife. No! Oh, I said it. Finally! I put hands on her, unfortunately. She collapsed and entered a coma and passed away. I'm dirt. I deserve to die. God gave me a beautiful woman, a great woman, an awesome woman, and I... I'd rather die than lie on my dead wife. Having heard from the accused, this is my final judgment. Mr. Femi Williams is guilty as... <laughs> Femi Williams here is my husband. 
Yes. He did beat me up. He beat me up that I fell into coma. I was later pronounced dead. Upon arrival at the mortuary, I woke up and my brother here, Mr. So bright easy. Hid me from everyone. Just because he wanted to punish my husband for being a terrible person. My lord. My husband is a good man. He only has challenges with his temper. Justice with mercy. That is all I ask. Please have mercy on him. Please. By the powers invested on me as the judge of this noble court, I hereby adjourn this proceeding. And Mr. Ezzi, be reminded in police custody when they call the investigation. I rise. Call! I'm so lucky and I feel bad, I feel horrible for putting you through all of that. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay, you have to stop with apologizing. I feel to talk about this already. Come on, it's... I don't know how to explain it, but... It has happened. And the fact that you're a changed man is what makes me happy. I knew a day like this would come. I know you didn't mean any of those things she did because I know you love me. I do. And that's why I I stay back. And I'm glad you're here. I still love you. 